Hey guys, following up on my uh, sunroof video here where uh, we had the uh, misalignment issue. I brought it to the dealer for them to uh, realign it. Um, they did it the first time and uh, still it was a slight alignment issue. And then the shade here, uh, when it was rolling back, it would all crinkle up. So we told them to keep it. We didn't want to take it back. So then they tore it back up again. And so it's been about uh, two weeks now that they had the truck. And I think it was uh, just sitting there, windows open, no roof or something, because I've never seen a truck handed back to a customer so disgustingly dirty. My wife and I just spent uh, probably an hour crawling around the truck inside here, detailing, vacuuming, wiping every single panel. It was just full of dust, of dirt, debris. It was disgusting. Uh, a bunch of panels are, are scratched in here now. So you could see, uh, for example, I don't know if you could tell that kind of a slight scratch there in the plastic. Uh, there's, there's scratches here on the, um, on this part of the roof. All these bolts, uh, were scratched. Uh, I'll show you that. So they've touched those up. You could see the quality of that touch up. Um, and then we've got a bunch of these uh, kind of creases here in the roof, in the headliner, you could see. Um, there was a ton of spots where the headliner wasn't even tucked. So I had to actually go back in and go around and, and try to tuck it in myself behind these chain pieces. There was like one spot here. Um, there was one spot here. Actually, you could kind of still see that this whole rubber piece is, is not done correctly. Behind the mirror, the whole headliner piece was just sticking out uh, over here on the side it was sticking out you could see kind of some of the scratches in here and stuff uh, that they did also a little bit of kind of decreasing in the headliner right here and some other places and so all that happened because the first time they uh, tried to align it I guess they ripped or took these pieces out and Nissan doesn't sell you these pieces. You have to get the whole sunroof with the track. So then they were back in here replacing the whole sunroof instead of just these little trim pieces. So obviously if I had known this, I would have uh, never went for this. Um, would have never had, had them touch out. I just left it at the factory misalignment. Yeah, look at that touch up work right there. It's a disaster. The worst part of all though, is that um, the roof Shade still crinkles up. Here, check this out. So you can see a little bit in this corner as it comes out. It's kind of loose right here. You can see a little bit of the wrinkle right here. And then watch it as it comes back. And that is like a 90% improvement over the way it was handed back to us the first time. The first time it would just all fold up like an accordion and then get sucked back in there. So that's a massive improvement over what it was. But I'm telling you, I'm just, this car looks like it aged 10 years in the two weeks that it's been there. This truck's got less than 2000 miles on it. It looks inside like it's got 10,000. I don't know if they were standing on the seats, you know, with their knees what they were doing i mean it's hard to tell on camera but you see how like it's all creased there the seat passenger side's a little bit better but um again you know it's it's hard to tell it it, it is worse in person and um it was not in anywhere near this condition when we handed to them so massive disappointment and uh yeah, there's no way it's going back to them to, to fix the remainder, at least, you know, unless it gets way worse. Uh, maybe I'll go to another dealer. Maybe I'll just ride out like this or, or try to find somebody independent that could fix it. Because um, just unbelievably poor uh, quality there. It's just they don't care, you know. $60,000 truck. They treat it like it was, a, you know, $10,000 used car, so... Shame on them, and I guess shame on me for trusting them to do the sunroof in the first place. And, and the only reason I did that is because when my GPS failed and they replaced the head unit, um, the tech that did that job was immaculate. You could not tell that anything in the dash was touched. The head unit had no scratches on it, the glass, it was perfect. Like it left the factory, like nothing ever happened to this truck. 
And so I was like, hey, if they're that good on the inside of the car with the head unit, which is all piano black plastics and everything else, how hard is a sunroof adjustment? You know, a couple bolts, adjust it and you're done. And it just turned out to be a, a nightmare. So yeah, that's where we're at. Don't mean to be a downer, but um, yeah, it's not a good situation with this truck. So um, now you know where it is at the moment. Um, and as far as the leak, yeah, it's kind of still doing the same thing, you know, out of the gutter, it's pouring in the sides and, and I'm just hoping that the sunroof drains there can handle that and we don't get any pooling on the inside of the truck. Unfortunately, I won't know for sure because I, this is a garage cab truck, it's not parked outside. So I don't know, you know, if I left it outside for two weeks, is it, would it all get flooded inside? No idea. Um, it stays in the garage and, you know, it's been, probably a year of ownership with uh, less than 2,000 miles on it. So it should be in brand new condition and, and it's very disappointing that it's not. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.